Flickering Lights, first requested to me by Victor Christensen and directed by Anders Thomas Jensen, is a 2000 Danish black comedy film that takes place in Denmark and follows four small-time gangsters who steal $4 million from their boss. After these four steal the money, they head into the countryside to hide out until they can formulate an escape plan. They stumble upon an abandoned building that was once an old restaurant and they decide to hide out there for a while until they can disappear. As their dangerous gangster boss pursues them, they hope to enjoy the countryside and avoid detection. All right, so this wasn't one I watched a trailer for beforehand. I didn't know it was subtitled. I didn't know it was a black comedy, nothing. I went into my viewing experience about as blind as I possibly could because I literally knew nothing about this movie. I like to provide context when I open these reviews because I think it's important that you understand the lens through which I'm judging the film. One thing I'd like to note is that as an American, I don't mind reading subtitles. I've watched some absolutely brilliant films that weren't in English and it never diminished my experience. The subtitles didn't diminish my experience here either, but other things did. I think this movie is all right. I mean, I certainly wouldn't say it's a bad movie, but I don't feel like it's necessarily worth seeking out either. There are aspects I liked and then others that fell completely flat for me. Maybe due to some sort of cultural barrier of some sort, I'm not really sure. I mean, there's some things that definitely bother me, but let's just start with one thing I liked. Firstly, I think the performances are all fine. I mean, I'd say that I liked Mods Mickelson's performance the most because I felt like he delivered the most interesting character of the four, but I think they all do serviceable jobs in the acting department. I mean, I don't think the writing does much for the characters because I never felt much of an investment or an attachment to really much of what they were doing. I guess you could make the argument that it is a black comedy film and the characters are supposed to be over the top and sort of caricatures of gangsters, but the film doesn't always feel like it's a black comedy film. I mean, had I not looked up the specifics of the film after I watched it, I honestly wouldn't have thought it was a black comedy film. I personally never got that impression. There are moments where I feel like the film does make an effort to be funny, but I didn't get that impression from the majority of it. What I kind of viewed this film as was a simplified redemption story where the gangsters try to reinvent themselves by heading off into the countryside to figure out what's important to them. The interesting part about how the film chooses to develop the four characters though, is that it primarily does it through a series of flashbacks. Each of the four characters has a flashback scene where you see what happened during their childhood and how they became the way they are. And it all feels very silly, but not so much in an intentional way. Like I said earlier, there wasn't any point where I felt like, oh man, this is a black comedy film and it's like this by design. I felt like with most black comedy films, I mean, you really need to go big or go home. If you're gonna make fun of subject matter that's generally considered taboo, which is pretty much the definition of a black comedy, it needs to be made overly clear that that's what you're doing. I don't think flickering lights effectively makes their intentions clear, and because of that, a lot of the movie ends up feeling underwhelming and simplistic. It almost feels like there's not a clear vision and a message as to what the movie is actually trying to say. I think the main problem I have with this film is that there's not really one aspect of it that you can latch on to. There's not knock your socks off comedy, the characters aren't all that interesting and aren't all that well developed, there's nothing all that special about the cinematography or the music, I never felt like I was watching like the worst movie ever or anything, but I don't feel like there's anything about it that makes it truly stand out to make it worth your time. Various aspects of it are fine, like the performances and some of the comedy, but there's just too much about it that feels like an experience that you're going to forget about after you watch it. Due to that, I can't say I'd recommend this one, but hey, check out a trailer and see what you think. Still though, let's recap via the pros cons list. For the pros, I think the performances are all good and there are some genuinely funny moments. As for the cons, the film feels like it has no direction, the characters are underwhelming and bland, and it doesn't really feel like there is a satisfying payoff when the credits roll. I'm gonna give Flickering Lights a six out of 10 and recommend you pass on this one. I think it's just not worth a watch personally because it doesn't excel in any area. If you are interested though, it's on Amazon Prime Video. So have you guys seen Flickering Lights before? What did you think of it? And if you haven't and you feel like you might wanna watch it, let me know why. And I'm hoping to get to more request reviews soon, so be on the lookout for those. I'm also hoping to get some other big videos done in the meantime, but with school and some other stuff, it's become pretty difficult. So I'm trying to get as much as I can out to you guys. I'm hoping to see Rocket Man someday this week, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. This is Wolf Oxification signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video.